This is one of the least visited countries in Europe. That alone may be enough to draw me in, but there is so much more. Mixture of Christian and Islamic architecture, beautiful nature and great people. I am Lex Universe, and this is Bosna and Herzegovina. Hello Internet, welcome to Lex Universe. Greetings from Sarajevo, the capital of Bosna and Herzegovina. Today, we will explore the capital. We'll find this famous spot where Franz Ferdinand d'Este was assassinated, which caused the First World War. We will explore the city and then we will head out into the mountains and we will try to see some of the abandoned features from the Sarajevo Olympic. So stay tuned, let's go. So I was checking some interesting places you can see in Sarajevo and basically count down to bridges and mosques. So, well, that's probably what you will see in the first part of the video. See? Bridge. See? On the other side it's pretty gone. You can see the remnants of the Bosnian war almost everywhere. And just over there across the bridge, that's where they apparently killed Franz Ferdinand. Hmm. I wonder the landmark that we could find on the information map this musical pavilion and basically like this whole riverside and this adjacent park a very nice place to just take a stroll and enjoy the atmosphere of the city Quite many abandoned buildings. As a synagogue. See, there are some strange statues hanging above the water. And one crazy bridge, uh, that's where we're going on. That's some Federal Ministry of Culture and Sports and... Oh, the bridge is really cool. Yeah, so I was misled and I lied to you. It's not the ministry, it's... Um, some part of the university, but still kind of nice building. Still can't get my head around the bridge. That's cool, really cool. And just like every capital in the Balkans, Sarajevo also has this large pedestrian zone full of shops, cafes, restaurants. Kind of cool. So, morning coffee is a must and 
Finally, I found some postcards. I don't know why, but in these Eastern countries, they just don't use postcards. I had trouble finding them in Ukraine, in Kyrgyzstan, even here. No idea why. So we are getting higher in elevation. So we have climbed to the hills above Sarajevo and now I will take you to an abandoned bobsleigh track from the 1984 Sarajevo Olympics. I think it's 1984. I don't know. Google it. I'm not really into sports that much. So. I've never watched Olympic Games in my life, so... Uh, yeah. Well, this is really impressive, really large. I'm really surprised that it's actually kind of well-preserved still, but totally abandoned. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I injured my knee recently, so it's really challenging. I think I picked the best time to climb these walls and stuff. So if you feel like I don't make much sense, I'm under a lot of painkillers and uh, it still hurts. So yeah. It's really so quiet here, like nobody in miles. Amazing. How do you like it here? Tell me in the comments. By the way, if you ever plan to visit this place, be aware that there are still a lot of landmines in Bosnia. So, um, don't wander off too much. Unless you want to explode, in that case, be my guest. And not only are there abandoned Olympic stadiums, but also this cool observatory. So, on the range, one to 10, how safe is this? Enterprise, okay. Oh. And here we can see Sarajevo. So 
by the way, this is how I'm climbing stairs. Yeah, so imagine how easy this is for me. So that was cool, right? I have no idea if the places were here, but honestly, not more impressive than the city itself. Can you see the holes? I believe that's from the guns from the Bosnian War. Well, if you wanted to make this trip on your own without a car, you can either hike from uh, down, down there from Sarajevo or you can take a take a table car which will take you all the way to the top of the mountain and from there it's like 15 minutes towards the bobsled track well so we have made it to the Banyuluka international airport when i'm saying international airport like really take it with a grain of salt because that's all of it that's all of it there's one gate, no duty free, nowhere to buy your beer if you want. So poor you. But on the other hand, you. we got lost because he took us uh, almost directly to it's the. Not the GPS fault, not yeah. my fault. GPS, GPS. Yeah. I won. So anyway, um, we arrived like um, not even an hour before departure, and still we are waiting. So. Really. No queues here, uh, but I kind of like it. We are traveling to Vienna. You don't need to see that, so I will say my goodbye now. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, check out my other social media, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.